How's it going everyone? Booty Francis here. Today I'm going to show you how to make some hot cross buns just in time for Easter. Really nice and simple um, and they'll be up in no time. So first thing we need to do, we need to grab 300 grams of milk, whack it into your pan, whack it on heat and bring it to the boil, okay? While our milk is warming up and coming to the bowl, we're going to add our dry ingredients into the bowl. So I've whacked in 500 grams of strong white bread flour, two teaspoons of mixed spice and one teaspoon of cinnamon. We're also going to add in some orange peel. Now it doesn't, it could be lemon peel, it could be orange peel, it just adds a nice little tone to it. So once your dry ingredients are mixed, then you want to grab your milk, which should be boiling by now and whack in 50 grams of butter. Stir that up, make sure it's nice and incorporated and let that cool for a little bit. Whilst we're waiting for that butter mixture to cool down, we're gonna add our salt and our yeast in. One teaspoon of salt, in we go, to our mixture. And then one pack of dry yeast. So once you mix that, your butter should pretty much melt. Just give it a stir to check. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make a nice well in your dry ingredients and pour in the milk and butter mixture, just like that. Give it a nice stir. And then finally, we're gonna go in with one egg, crack it in. Make sure it's stirred in properly at this point. It's a lot easier to go with your hands. So just start to bring the dry ingredients together, making sure that you're getting a nice even distribution. Bring all of that dry flour from the bottom, getting it right down, stirring it in together. Cool. So once that's all incorporated, we're gonna do some kneading. So what you wanna get is you wanna get a little bit of flour, Sprinkle it nicely on your surface and turn your dough out. The dough might be a little bit sticky, make sure you get everything out of the bowl. We're gonna incorporate it, work it together. So, tactic with kneading is you wanna get the base of your palm really into the dough like that. Turn and push away from yourself. Really use the weight of your hand as you need. And you'll be able to tell that the dough is responding as the texture starts to change, as the dough starts to change. So you probably want to knead for about five to 10 minutes, really making sure everything's incorporated. You've got a nice springy dough. You're making sure the gluten strands are getting incorporated all over the place. So once you have kneaded for about 10 minutes, you'll have a nice golden ball of puffiness. Look at that lovely puffiness. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna whack that in a bowl, cover with a cloth for about an hour and a half until it's about doubled in size. So once you have your dough has doubled in size, what you wanna do is you wanna turn it back out onto your surface. Maybe get a sprinkling of flour, not too much, you don't wanna change the consistency too much. Just knock it back, just deflate it a little bit, knead it for about 30 seconds, not too much at all. And then we're gonna add in our currants and mixed peel. So I've gone for 250 grams of just mixed um, currants and peel and sultanas. Um, you can mix up if you want, you can add some cranberries, dates, a bit of nuts, apples. It's really up to you, whatever you've got in the cupboard. And you just wanna to start to knead them into your dough. It'll take a little while to get them incorporated, but just spend five or 10 minutes just getting them nicely, evenly distributed among the dough. Once your dough is nice and incorporated and all the currants are mixed in, whack it back in your bowl and leave it for another hour, just to grow until it doubles in size. Okay, so our dough is now risen nicely, so we're gonna turn our dough back onto our surface and divide into little balls. So, what I've got here is a baking tray with some baking parchment. We're just gonna, once we've made the balls, use our hands to roll a nice little ball and place them on the tray. So 
don't worry too much about them being too far away because they will spread as they grow. Now we're probably looking to make about 12 to 15 depending on how big you make them. So there we go, we have 15 hot cross buns there ready to go. We're gonna leave these for another hour. They'll rise, they'll spread out um, and then they'll be good to go in the oven. in the oven and before they do we just need to put the cross on so now we're gonna make the cross so what I've done here is I've just added a little bit of flour with water about three or four tablespoons of flour and a hundred odd mil of water um, if it's too thin you can't want to a fairly thick consistency so it's gonna drip over just give it a nice whisk and then once you've done that all we're gonna do is gain a little teaspoon and just drizzle the cross over being nice and careful about where it's going. So these are now ready to go in the oven. We're gonna put them in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 200 degrees. Um, just watch over them, maybe turn them around if you need to. So hot cross buns are out of the oven. Uh, we've just glazed them with a little bit of honey um, just to give them a little bit of shine. Um, if you don't have honey, you can use golden syrup or some apricot jam. Absolutely perfect. Leave these to cool for about 15 minutes and there you go. Hot cross buns served up, ready for Easter. Thanks so much for joining me on this Foodie Francis recipe. Um, do let me know what you want me to do next time. I happily take suggestions. Um, but for now, have a very happy Easter. Mm -hmm.